Hey guys, J Edge, welcome to Practice T. Okay, I just want to follow on a little bit from the last batch of videos we did, which we called the Reverse Instinct uh, Release. And by Reverse Instinct, I mean that we're going this way through the ball as opposed to this way through the ball. It's this way through the ball as opposed to this way through the ball. A la Lee Trevino. And as I mentioned in the other tapes, I believe Hogan had lots of that in his golf swing. And that's why he got that wrist angle here and got the bowed wrist. Because if you turn your hands that way, look at the the effect it has on your hands. They assume that look. Okay, so I had a little episode yesterday which I wanted to document today to help you guys. I came here, it was a very ordinary day, it was very windy as it always is here on the JH practice tee, but it was hot and as you can see, I've got the Mexican sombrero on today because guys, it's hot here. And I just get fried alive. Every day is a Friday because you get fried. And what happened was I came here and every day I come from, I go to the gym before I come to the practice uh, tee. And I'd had a big workout with some young guns and I was really tight and anxious in my body. And two things happened. The first one was I couldn't hit the ball very well, which is very unusual for me. I mean, I can come here and I always get the ball going with a semblance of quality. I couldn't hit it. It's just terrible. And I had my buddy Pete here and I was whinging and moaning and what is going on? And the main thing that I found out that was going on was that whereas I was reverse winding through the ball, or reverse instinct releasing I wasn't maintaining the wrist hinge that I put in train on the backswing a la Trevino and the session was very ordinary the whole day and the wind drove us nuts so we gave up uh, so I went home and I, I got down in the basement and I was fooling around and having a look at myself in the mirror and going through the the feelings in the golf swing I said it doesn't feel right what's going on and I tracked it down to this guys if you're going to reverse wind it through the ball you're going to get this type of process you've got to really keep that angle there which we talked about in other videos you must keep that once you once you set the hinge you've got to maintain the hinge as you reverse wind it now what's interesting there, as if I maintain that hinge and I reverse wind it, the blade is dead square. I mean it is millimetre perfect. But I wasn't doing that. I was quite anxious in my mind and the weather was driving me nuts and I was stiff. Uh, so I'd actually just lost that component. And I knew as soon as I came back here today, first swing in the session would be perfect and it was. My buddy Pete was here and I just hit a shot and it was perfect. Just first hit. And of course, that's the reason, guys. So, if we're reverse or reverse instinct winding through the ball, got to just keep this. So, there's really only a couple of components to the golf swing. And that is that as we reverse wind it through here, we just keep that hinge that we established. I'm basically doing that on the backswing, a la Trevino. And if you look at Trevino at the top of the swing, he takes it here, gets it up, he's got a bowed left wrist and he's shut. Then he comes in, he starts to reverse wind it, holds the hinge, gets here dead square. It's a bit, a bit idiosyncratic that he bows his wrist, I mean, you don't have to do that, but if you, if you actually hinge your wrist, it gives you a fair bit of bow anyway. That hinge, and bear in mind we're aiming way left, so we're just taking the club on our body line, which is outside our target line, and if we take the club back square to square and hinge the club like that, the club face will, for all intents and purposes, in conventional 
terminology be shut when I get to the top. Now, if it was square at address and I haven't done anything but hinge my wrist, then it's still square at the top. So what I have to do, in effect, is take it there, hinge it, get at the top, maintain that hinge, and then reverse wind it. Yeah. Now that blade is dead square, guys. It's crazy square. Now the other thing that surfaced its ugly head was, of course I'd come from the gym and I'd had a big workout and there was a lot of crazy weather going on and I was really anxious and my physiology was on the rev limiter. Everything got tight. The muscles were still pumped. I was tight. And what happened from my brain down to my fingertips, all the tension and all the aggravation bled into my grip of my arms. And I found that I was hanging onto the golf club with a death grip. And I couldn't hinge it and I couldn't release it because I was killing the golf club. So whenever you're hitting the ball badly on the practice tee and you can't really get any type of contact, I would say 90% of the time you'll track it back to an over-aggressive uh, tension factor right throughout the body from the brain to the arms to the hands, the neck, the shoulders, everything. And as soon as I, as soon as I backed all that pressure out, the club felt heavy and, and it felt like Trevino. That's what it looked like, that's what it felt like when I came here this morning. But yesterday I was very, very tense and stiff. So guys, first message is get rid of all the tension and stiffness when you're hitting a bad. Just bleed out, get heavy. Go to China, let the body just gravitate down, soft hands. Feel like the club's going to come out of your hands. Trevino always looked like that. Alright, so what we're going to do first hit of the day, we're going to set up with our reverse instinct wind. We're going to take it back, hinge it, and then we're just going to hold the hinge. And there it is, guys. I've got my buddy here, Pete. How's that, Pete? Perfect is the word. First shot of the day, guys. And I knew it would be like that because I just held the hinge. And I got rid of the aggravation. So we're taking it back. For all intents and purposes, it will look like this. It's the top of the swing. We hold that, that hinge. We slide. We turn the body. Look at the club. Dead square. It's not shut. Because I'm reverse winding this way, it can never be shut. Ever. There's another ball right on top of the other one. And guys, it's very hot here today. The hands are very slippery. Very hot. That's why I've got the sombrero on. Well, we've got the Lee Trevino theme, so we've got the Lee Trevino uh, sombrero. Okay, one more. Beautiful, right on the bell. We'll come back. <laughs> 